All right, we're back. Another quick video. Make sure you guys subscribe to this video and make sure you guys subscribe to the like button. All right? So, what I want to talk about is the upcoming utility for one Scratchy's drip and Scratchy's for the animal farm. And I want to draw a comparison to a project on pancake swap that's getting BNB every minute, every five minutes. So by that, guys who freak with pancake swap, you already know what I'm talking about. About last summer, it was something I did on a day. It was a part of my daily routine. Woke up, you know, got clean. Got some coffee, did some stretches. You guys remember some of those videos. And um, before I got on video, I would go to Pancake Swap, and I'll do a, a few, a few trades, you know. And I would keep trading until I lost. That's pretty much what I would do. And what I want to, the reason why that's important is the consistency of B and B they have coming in is similar to these big buys that we get. You know, the big buys that we get. And if you are in the the Telegram group for the drip big buy alert, you know, every time now they can tweak it however they want. But they have it to whereas every time. Let me see. I always get this wrong. Hopefully it's this. All right. Yeah. Every time a buy comes in and they set the parameters to maybe 10 BNB, then you'll get an alert. So 10 BNB is a nice chunk of change, but what if that was coming in every five minutes? All right. So we're going to get into our compounding. We do a daily compounding because we are trying to get a max wallet. But before we do that, I just want to give you guys a quick example. Uh, drip is at a dollar. You know, it's been it's been holding up around that dollar range on average. So maybe prices like $96, I mean, 96 cents. I know somebody went crazy in the comment section. Bro, please take your hands off the keyboard. I corrected myself. 96 cents. Somebody's going to say, oh, he, uh, well, that, that, I ain't going to lie. Whoever you are, I hope you're watching this because that was funny. He said, <laughs> he said, he called me an ignorant hype man. That was funny. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know where the hype man part came. I am bullish on this project. I am optimistic on this project. And I am positive on this project as far as, you know, where I'm putting my money, where I see it going. So if you're not like that, I'm not going to beat you up because you eat a certain kind of food and I don't. Like, but everybody wants to come through and say their thing, you know. So, hey, I, I let the comment rock. I got a real good laugh out of that. It was funny. Um... But it's at 96 cents, and around this point, people start buying in. Comes back down around that point, people start buying in. Comes back down around that point, people start buying. So we're gonna see. It's at 99 cents. You know, now it's gonna be funny. I'm, you know what I'm gonna do? Once this price goes up to anything decent, I'm gonna watch every video, and I'm a, and I'm gonna figure out who the haters were. I'm gonna go to comment sections. I'm, I'm gonna just go all. I'm, a, I'm gonna pay somebody on Fiverr to like, yo. Go find a whole bunch of comments of people hating on this project right here and, and just and just send me all the comments. That's what we're going to do. So people don't run. I'm, I'm trying to run. No, 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 no. Don't run. You know, it'd be a grown man trying to run after they didn't said a mouthful. Y'all got to chill. All right. So we have 53 uh, drips. So I'm about an uh, hour behind. Let me go ahead and do this because if I make a mistake and... Uh, drag this video too long. I want to make sure I get this done, you know, before 10 o'clock. So we got 50, we pretty much got 54 drip. Since drip is 99 cents, it equates to around $54. I could withdraw this right now. I can sell it for BNB. I can uh, send it to like a crypto debit card. And I can go on Amazon.com, you know, and, and just go from there. If I wanted to, I could do that every day, you know, as long as I see fit, as long as it seems worth it for me. But since I'm trying to get a maxed account, 
we are going to hydrate. And then we're going to get into the utility example uh, that I was speaking about in this video. So let's go ahead and hydrate. I hate when the MetaMask doesn't pop up and you got to like go up here and click. Uh, da, 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 da. So we should be 53. I think I already bought some drip the other day, so I'm going to chill. Because uh, every day I see these prices. I'm like, oh, let me get $30 worth. Let me get $50 worth. Let me get $100 worth. Let me get $300 worth. Whatever I feel like I want, I can uh, do at that point, that's what I'll do. Um, so we'll probably we'll probably be due to buy some uh, in about a week. You know, buy some more in about a week. Or it depends if the price drop start dropping like ninety cent, then we'll just jump in. I'll buy it and then I'll add it on video. Most of the time, I'll buy it like ten hours before. Or, you know, before I go to sleep or whatever. And then I'll, once we do the video, you'll see me put it in there. But let's go to the, let's go to the utility example. All right. So we have 5,300 drip, um, which equates to, I know I did an example the other day. I already rounded it. So we should be up out of here on the max account in 177 days. Let's go. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Now I play with the numbers, of course. This is if the if the price was at like uh four dollars. So every now and then I'll come in here and I'll get real optimistic. So I know people don't like that, man. He's a hype, he's an ignorant hype man. We're gonna see if I'm an ignorant hype man in the coming months. Cause I should I, I had the post for Forex saying that we're gonna hear about utility for drip in middle of January. So we got about a month. In a month from now, we should start hearing about utility. Maybe in February. That's perfect timing for me because I want to get this account maxed in May, which means I'm going to have to add some more. I want to get this account maxed in May because that's when it's going to start getting warm outside. And that's when, it, when it's going to start raining here in my area. And that's that's the best time of the year for me. Um, so I, I don't want to be in the house, you know, doing things. I wanna, I'm going to do all my videos on the road like I was trying to do. Uh, in 2022 but yeah let's get to um let's get to the utility so this is the utility i was talking about if you guys don't know um hold on let me, let me move this around i'm gonna give you the name of it real quick you come here and you go to prediction it's still in beta all right so you come pancake swap go to win go to prediction how this works is you either bet if you think the price of right here is going to go up or down and you have five minutes to do it over here all right again my phone is going crazy uh so and you can also base it on the news if you're one of those guys that watch the charts and the other day when um when that news happened with binance on you know people were uh uh regulatory agencies were looking into their you know their files after the FTX thing is going on. Because allegedly, this guy, um, Sam, got some kind of level of protection, man. I'm going to just be keep it 100 with you. There's no way. He was supposed to testify. And then he ends up getting arrested before he testified. So he can't potentially incriminate himself. That's that like, I see that's a sensitive topic, but it's, it's kind of annoying. Because people want to know what's going on. That just tells me. That people allegedly is getting protected. You know, certain parties are getting funded from from allegedly from from certain exchanges, political parties. So it's a whole fiasco with that. I don't get deep into that kind of stuff because I want people to keep thinking I'm an ignorant hype man. You know, my goal here is to bring a certain level of entertainment and document my document my journey. That's what we do. Um, But. What if now another thing I want you guys to pay attention to is the price pool. This is every five minutes. 22 BNB is on this price pool right here. Depending on what you put in is depending on what you get out if you win. And when that when that situation was happening with Binance, which is still happening, but I'm saying when the news first dropped, uh people were I don't know if they were short shorting or not, but people could like come through and say, you know what, I'm gonna start selling. You know, and then if you want to gamble, all you would have to do is say, you know, and this is not financial advice. This is something I would have did, but I forgot. 
is the vast majority of my bids are going to be sales. Now, this one I would have lost, but I would have made up for them with the other ones. This one might be a sell right here. And so it's prediction. Where, what level you think this is going to go? If 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 the if the if the probability is more so going to be one way, then the payout is going to be higher on the other way. So the probability they're saying is prob is going to be up uh, from this price because you're just betting on the last price, and you see it's one minute left over here. So you know it's going to fluctuate. Now it's going down, but you got a minute to bet. So since I'm you know since I think this price is going to be steady steady or going down you're gonna lose some but if you win it more than you lose and your you know your uh your risk is a certain uh at a certain level then you should come out profitable in the long run you take five trades you win three or uh four you know you're betting 0.1 i used to bet like 0.1 0.2 bnb and you just go in. I, I I used to do that and get up to about 0.5 to 1 BNB every day. Especially when we were doing, um, when the miners were popular. Because that's that's one way how I was getting in the miners. I would come through here. I would put 0.25 BNB. If I win a few trades, I get up to like 0.7. I'm done for the day. I come in the next day to do the same thing. Once I got my 1 BNB, at the time BNB was like $400. I'll take that, put that into a miner. Flip that, you know what I'm saying, to up to about a thousand bucks. Take that and do something else with it. So as you see, the clock went down. So now you can know after 10 seconds, you can no longer bid. Now, you might be thinking, Ice, how does this, um, what does this have to do with, what does this have to do with utility and scratches? So scratches is going to be something quick. You come through, you buy the NFT, you scratch it. Either you're going to win or you're going to lose. But if you break even, you're going to pay probably a tax. So you're going to be losing a little bit. Um, you break even. You're going to probably pay a tax. But you can buy another one. And what that tells me is the way these prize pools are jumping, 24 BNB. Imagine if you got 100 guys coming through buying scratches at one time. You know what I'm saying? That's 0.1 BNB, 0.01 uh, BNB. And then you got about 100 dudes. Somebody buying a $20 one. Somebody buying a $50 one. We're going to be having, and this is just hypothetical. I'm not, of course, it's not going to go like this, but this is just an example of how much BNB or drip or whatever the currency is going to be going in at a five minute basis, 10 minute basis, one minute basis. And so when you hear guys, whales, insane whales in this ecosystem talking about how bullish scratches could potentially be i want you to look take this as an example of how much let's just say bnb because we, we spend bnb to get drip how much bnb could just be coming in boom 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 every five minutes every one however it goes just coming in this is five minutes ago 22 bnb 10 minutes ago 17 bnb 15 minutes ago 18 bnb just coming in bop 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 that will give you an idea on Especially if people if people breaking even and they paying that tax, now you got all these extra taxes coming in. Some people gonna lose, but if it's addicting enough, now if you got a gambling habit, you want to consult with you know you might want to get some help. I I had a gambling habit when I stayed in Vegas for the first like three years, and I'm like okay I'm I'm done with this. Eventually, depending on the person, you can either come out of that or you can't. You know. Once I, once I started making money online, I said, I can't gamble and make money online. So I had to make a decision and I kind of left that stuff alone, but it was fun. If the, if the odds are a little bit more in the investor's favor to whereas the taxes could come in. So let's say I buy a scratchy, I, I break even, let's say I buy a $10 scratchy, I break even, but I still got to pay that tax to get another one. I cash that one in or I sell it. However you go, you pay the tax. You get another one. You break even again. You pay the tax. You get another one. And then you lose that one. And then maybe tomorrow you win. So it's going to be a back and forth, back and forth type of thing. But if we have that traffic and that BNB coming in, plus those taxes for people who have to keep buying and keep buying to hopefully come up. And a percentage of that is coming back to drip. 
just for the drip scratchy alone. And then you got content creators like myself and others. Plus, you can give the, you can buy the NFT and give it to your uh your subscribers and your supporters. It's so many ways this can go. Now, if I'm wilding, put wilding in the comment section. If I'm bugging, put bugging in the comment section. And if I'm a, if I'm an ignorant hype man, put that in the comment section. Don't run and don't be scared. I, I still let y'all comments rock, but I, it's sometimes if I remember, I will say, "Oh, that guy said that," you know. So now, does it sound as spooky uh, as it was before? Because I'm trying to paint the picture in people's heads, and then this is just the drip part. What if this becomes successful and other protocols or other companies want to rent this for their, for themselves? Oh, you already got it dialed in. Because, of course, people are going to try to make their own. But what's the? why would you run the risk of exploits and all this wild stuff when you can just rent it? And then the taxes from them renting it comes to some type of tax vault. And they can be distributed to wherever wherever it's going to be distributed to. Remember, people were renting from Horde's LMS system like it was going out of style until it went out of style. But if Horde was still running strong, 20 more guys would have been buying it. And this is going to feed into more of a gamified. It's, it's going to be funner. Because LMS, that's just a piece of code working in the background. This you're going to be able to actually be able to interact with. With NFTs. You know what I'm saying? And I heard you can stake the NFT to earn some type of... So it's going to be crazy. And I might talk about this more and more and more as the time progresses if I come up with more ideas. So this is going to be today's drip utility we still hold on to 99 cents drip utility idea pancake swap prediction all right um and what if pancake swap want to rent it like what if what if like it's all about momentum we gonna we gonna get it popping for sure like the people in the community especially guys who make videos or run teams and stuff it's going to get a pop. Because I might just lock. Once I get a max account or get closer, that's going to be even better. Because what I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to claim, uh, buy, a, buy a scratchy, give it away on every video, and then put the rest back in. Might do something like that. I might not. Just to, just get that hype going, you know. But let you let me know what you guys think about that. If it's, if it's silly, you know, put silly in the comment section. It's going to be a longer video because I had to get all that out. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to this page. And make sure you subscribe to that bell. This is Icy. And I'll see you guys on the next video.